Hi everyone. Well, we went on a tour of the old city of Montevideo. Our guide, Jorge, was excellent and he started us off by telling us how people of Uruguay are not really Uruguayans, but are actually Orientales. Here's our tour. They're not Uruguayans. The real nationality is Orientales. In my birth paper it says Jorge, born 1987, nationality Oriental. Okay? And the Uruguayan people is always like this. Mate. Okay? You will see everybody carrying this like a baby. Okay? In one part of the tour I will teach what it is. Okay? We are three and a half million in all the country. We are like a small family, <laughs> a small village. And the half of the population lives in the capital, in Montevideo. Okay? The country is divided in departamentos, departments, 19 departments. The smallest department is Montevideo and the half of the people lives here. We are very proud to be the country with more cows per capita in the world. It's four cows per person in this country. 14 million cows, yes. So that's why it's difficult to be vegetarian. <laughs> and we are located between the two giants, Argentina and Brazil. <coughs> with Brazil, we don't have natural borders. You can go walking to Brazil if you want. And with Argentina, we don't have cultural borders. We have the same culture. If you go to Argentina, you will see the same people, like we speak in the same way. Okay? The first thing that you have to know about the Uruguayan independence is that we don't celebrate one Independence Day. For example, United States, 4th July. Eh? France, 14th July. Uruguay, two dates, two different dates in the independence process. August 25 of 1825, we declared independence. And July 18 of 1830, we got the independence, five years later, with the first constitution. That's why the, the most important day is July 18. And that's the name of the main avenue of Montevideo, in the other side of the square. Okay, July 18. We got the independence from which country? Brazil. Brazil. We got the independence from Brazil. In some parts of the history, we were Brazilians. Happy people, samba, zunga, amazing. Five World Cups, incredible. So, but we speak Spanish, why? Because before of being part of Brazil, we were part of the Spanish Empire. Okay, until the year, the year 1816. Okay? For five years, 1811 to 1816, we have a revolution against the Spanish crown. And the leader of that revolution was this guy, the national hero called Jose Artigas. This is the national hero. He defeated the Spanish monarchy here, okay? and the Spanish left in 1816. But what happened? Without the Spanish, this land was invaded by the Portuguese. They always wanted this piece of land. Okay? We don't have gold, we don't have silver, but we have Cows, I thought you were going to say sexy people, but yeah. <laughs> we have cows and we have a key. The key to enter from the Atlantic Ocean into the heart of the continent. That's why the Portuguese invaded and after five years of war, the Portuguese defeated Artigas. He escaped to Paraguay and he never came back. That's the national hero, guys. <laughs> This place is the Artigas Mausoleum. Okay, remember Artigas, the national main hero. I told you that he escaped to Paraguay and he never came back. I lied. He came back, but when he was dead. Okay? Five years after he died, the Paraguayan government sent back a box with ashes saying, this is Artigas. <laughs> okay, <laughs> suppose that he is. <laughs> uh, and he's inside that box. Como yeah. otra So. Now he's protected in a symbolic lo, lo way by two soldiers. You can see two soldiers over there. They are real people. <laughs> this is not Madame Tussaud. <laughs> uh, they change the guard every one hour. They are part of the Uruguayan army. This peninsula is the old city now. It was a walled city. Because the only goal of the Spanish Empire to make this city here was to stop the Portuguese entrance. That's why they needed to protect with walls. Okay? This fortress here was called Ciudadela. 
And the lines that I show you, the square, are the Ciudadela walls. So now Ciudadela is the independent square. After independence, the government destroyed the walls and we keep only these gates. These gates. This side is original. From 1856, Teatro Solis was inaugurated. In that moment, it was the tallest building of Montevideo. So nothing that you see here was here in that moment. Okay? Do you see the box in the top? In the past, it was not a box, it was a torch, like the Olympic Games. Okay? And when they were going to have a show, they used to turn on a, a fire there to inform the people of the show. Okay? It was like a lighthouse. City. Okay, imagine that you are the Spanish Empire and you are making cities in South America. What's the first thing that you do? In the Plaza Mayor, the main square. This was that square in Montevideo. And always the square has two important buildings to represent the religious power and the political power of the crown. Church. And Cabildo, that building, okay, old building, it was the old city hall in the colonial age. We are part of one big area called the Guarani area. The Guarani uh, indigenous, they are still living in some parts of Brazil and Paraguay. Okay? The Guaranians were drinking this when the Europeans arrived. And the Spanish government, they make this popular between the the new people, because it gives you energy. Suppose that it makes you work. The truth, it makes you work less. Because we share with the people, so you start to talk, to chat, and you don't care about the, the job, okay? So, this thing is called bombilla. It has a filter. We put here this mate herb uh, we buy in the supermarket. We put cold water, we drink, until you hear that noise. That noise means that you finish the water and you can pass to another. Okay? We share with people something very important to us, part of the culture. If you see someone walking with this, <coughs> like me, it's Uruguayan. The Argentinos, they don't know how to walk with this. <coughs> okay? So it's something that you have to try in this country. Okay? For example, if you go to Brazil, you will try caipirinha. Okay? You come to Uruguay, you have to try mate. But also you have to try another thing. What about the alcoholic drinks? We have one national drink called Medio y Medio. It was invented at the port market. And it means half and half. Dry white wine with sweet sparkling wine. It's very good. We use that to celebrate like a sweet and cheap champagne, okay? And the second drink, for me, in my opinion, is the real national alcoholic drink. It's called Grappa Miel. Grappa, you know what Grappa is? Italian strong drink that, that comes from the skin of the grape. Grappa. Do you know what Miel is? Honey. So this is Grappa with honey. Grappa Miel. Raise your hand who tried Grappa Miel before. You, you, you can't say that you were in Uruguay. <laughs> the others, until now you couldn't say it. But now you can say because I have grappa meal in my bag. And we are going to make a toast.
asado, the barbecue. And all these restaurants are dedicated to that. The best asado in the world, okay? Much better than the Argentinian asado. <laughs> Much expensive too, okay? Um, the typical cut of the Uruguayan asado is called asado de tira, the ribs, asado de tira, tira, T-I-R-A, tira, tira. 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 asado de tira. Uh, we have another dish, Uruguayan national dish called chivito, you will see chivito everywhere, it's the Uruguayan sandwich, bread, a thin steak, ham, cheese, tomato, lettuce, egg, bacon, pepper, olives, mayonnaise, bread, and french fries. It sounds good. So, now I will tell you the last history. What's the meaning of the word Montevideo? Monte, you already know what it means. Hill. Okay? I will show you the hill in this rock. It's in the other side of the floor. Okay? If you're in the cruise ship, remember to watch this, okay? The hill. That means monte. Video is not a word. Video is the location of the hill. The Spanish people came from Spain. At the east. They came from the east to the west. West in Spanish is oeste with O. Okay? When they arrived to this area, they realized that we have some small hills in the Uruguayan coast, and to have some reference, they put numbers to the hills. Hill number one, two, three, four, five, and this one was the number six. That means V. Roman numbers, sexto. Okay? So, the real name of this city is not Montevideo. It's Monte, that means hill, sexto, six, de este a oeste, from east to west. Monte, sexto, de este a oeste, hill, six, from east to west. Very difficult, guys. So, officially, welcome to Monte, sexto, de este a oeste, and thank you very much. <laughs> yeah.